In today's short video, I want to talk about potentiometers, both controls and trim pots. And there's some obvious differences between the two, and one very, very important but not so obvious difference between the two that uh, too many people ignore or don't know about. So let's take a look at what I'm talking about. All potentiometers are essentially uh, very similar. They have a resistive element that goes from one terminal around to the other, so that's a constant resistance across those terminals, and then a movable wiper that controls a pickoff point, if you will, from one end of the resistive element to the other. So regardless of configuration, whether we're talking about a, a large control like this, or a miniature control like this, or even a trim pot, they all basically work the same way. One of the biggest differentiating factors between controls and trim pots is just their physical construction. You know, controls are designed to be manipulated often and often will have uh, more positive ways of locking them down to a chassis or something like that. You know, it will have heavier shafts and things like that. Uh, they're designed again to be operated uh, more or less continually over many, many, many cycles. Trim pots, by contrast, are often called trimmers, and they're typically designed for uh, adjustments that require infrequent adjustment, maybe for calibration or setting a level and forgetting about it, but they're typically designed without, you know, user controls or hand controls on them. Uh, sometimes you can, it will be a little thumb wheel like this, but oftentimes you might need a tool or a screwdriver to go ahead and make the adjustment because it's one of those things that just doesn't get made very often. And that's typically where uh, trimmers are used. They're often much smaller uh, than the, uh, their control counterparts, maybe not quite as rugged as their control counterparts, again, because they're typically buried inside of equipment and typically just for uh, infrequent you know, calibration or alignment uh, adjustment. There are precision types for both. Uh, here's an example of a, a multi-turn pot. This might be used for a, an adjustment that requires a very fine adjustment over a wide range. So by having a multi-turn pot, uh, you can get a uh, real fine adjustment on a particular value that might be needed. And similarly, trimmers are also available with multi-turns. Like this one's got a small screw adjustment here that has got a little, like a ring and pinion gear almost to adjust the uh, wiper position. Uh, and using the gear reduction, you know, on something like that, or maybe something with a, a lead screw like this one here, you can get a very fine adjustment over the range of the pot. So that's the biggest difference between these two really is uh, kind of the physical construction and the use cases between the two. Now what troubles me uh, is the, the second difference here that uh, a device like this might cause you to ignore. This is a trimmer but it has a knob on it. So uh, this is often sold by a lot of the you know, hobbyist manufacturers or hobbyist suppliers it's a piece, it's a little proto board friendly. The leads will kind of plug right into the proto board and then uh, you can make this adjustment by hand. So if you're building up a, you know, a little hobby circuit or even a little project, you might be tempted to use these because they're small, convenient, and typically less than a dollar, very inexpensive. However, there's one more very important difference between controls and trimmers that make this part kind of dangerous. Now the reason I bring this up, and really the reason for putting this video together, is I'm seeing more and more of these little trimmers with different types of, con of hand controls and even knobs on them. And uh, I've even seen some products being offered that are using these types of trimmers as controls. And you might say, well, if it's not being used uh, in a very rough way or something like that, where's the harm? Well, if we take a look at the data sheet, I'll show you where the harm is. So here's a, a typical part uh, being offered by uh, SparkFun, a little trim pot with a knob, and even mentions uh, using it as a, uh, a volume control. But let's take a look at the data sheet. So here's the data sheet for that part. And if we scroll down in the specs here, and take a look at this parameter right here, the rotational life is 200 cycles. That means that rotating this knob across the element 200 times is all the life that this thing is rated for. Now let's think about how you use these things. Oftentimes you're making an adjustment and uh, you don't reach it exactly the first first time so you might sit there and go back and forth a little bit until you get to that spot that you want when you're making your adjustment. Now I've just wiped over that same spot in that resistor five times. Okay, I can't do that more than about 40 times before I really 
go past the rotational life of that spot of the resistor. So if you use uh, these things repeatedly you know, in your projects or if you use them in a product where it's going to get adjusted you know, more than just every once in a while, you're going to wear these things out. And you might be wondering why all of a sudden your projects are not working right or things are operating a little bit erratically because you may have wiped out you know, the rotational life over a portion of these trimmers because of the way that they get used. So I've seen devices like this in, in uh, some products now where they're actually going to be used a lot more often and they'd wear right through that rotational life. Now here's an example of another device again offered by SparkFun that would be a better choice for a protoboard friendly control uh, over this uh, trim pot with a knob. If we take a look at the data sheet for this guy here and we'll see that this guy is indeed designed to be an actual control. We scroll down to uh, the endurance operating life we we'll take a look at that it's rated for 10,000 cycles so clearly a lot more than the 200 cycles of this trimmer with a knob. You'll notice that this trim pot with a knob 95 cents and this rotary potentiometer is also 95 cents. Both of them again are uh, proto board friendly so if you're gonna uh, pick up something uh, these guys here are going to last you much much longer. So as my friend Dave Jones from EEV blog would say this is one of those cases that could be a trap for young players. So uh, just take some care uh, and when picking the devices that you're going to be using in your projects, particularly things that are going to be adjusted more often, and be sure you're using a device that's rated as a control versus device that's rated as a trimmer but disguised as a control. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I hope this little tip uh, will save you some headaches in the future. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. If you are a subscriber, please click the bell right down here in the lower corner of the YouTube window to get an email each time I post a new video. And thanks again, for, as always, for watching.